in a chemistry lab at Long Island University Post, an alliance between sports and science is born. And if you squeeze it, notice the shockwave diffuses out. One man is a world-renowned scientist. Press it at different points and look at the stress pattern. The other has a degree in biochemistry and a PhD in baseball. And DeYoung drills another one. Paul DeYoung is a shortstop with the St. Louis Cardinals. Mets fans will remember him. The rookie became a Met killer this year and led all National League shortstops with 25 home runs. This offseason, he's trading his jersey for a lab coat. In high school, I'd, I just enjoyed the physics and chemistry classes more than I enjoyed reading uh, Catcher in the Rye. And if you look at the spectrum, you see something unique to helium. Many more peaks. Today, he's working with one of his heroes. Dr. Lawrence Rocks authored The Energy Crisis in 1972, and he worked with Congress to create the Department of Energy. These two men, both elite in their fields, come together where baseball and data converge. Well, yeah, let's get to work. He's testing an old baseball theory. The warmer the ball, the further it flies. Now here we're going to be dropping this room temperature baseball from a height of 50 centimeters, and we're going to try to measure how high it bounces up. Experiments like this are part of DeYoung's off-season workouts. It allows him to keep his mind sharp while taking a break from baseball. And what he's learning today, he's applying on the field. You're doing the scientific method, trial and error, coming up with new solutions, seeing how they work, analyzing them, and making conclusions constantly. As the data is compiled, they discover something strange. This one's supposed to bounce higher, huh? That's not what we're seeing. As you decrease temperature, the, you get less bounce. Like an automobile tire on a very cold day, it's a little more brittle. If you increase temperature, it, you know, estimators get a little mushy, get a little its bounce. The data shows baseball's bounce increases with the temperature, but around 80 degrees, it begins to decline, which means baseball's sweet spot is related to heat. What happens when you have an experiment and the results are not what is expected? That's great. Then you think of another theory, because facts are everything. Science is not a subject. It's a method, and the method can be applied to anything. Anybody can be a scientist. Even a baseball player who's just beginning his career on the diamond, and maybe someday a career in the lab. Can you see Paul with a lab coat after his baseball career is done? No. It's the excitement, the camaraderie. You won't find that anywhere else. A doctor doesn't find it. How many people cheer when a doctor writes a prescription? <laughs> But it's the scientific method DeYoung is using here that continues to be the basis for his success here. Think you learned something today? Yeah, and we definitely raised some more questions that need to be answered, so it never ends.